Uber. It's one of the most difficult conversations to have with your family, but with around 1,700 people in Australia on organ transplant waiting lists, it's a conversation that has to be had. Well, Australia has one of the lowest rates of organ donation despite being a world leader for successful transplant outcomes. It's hoped that a new Australian film will encourage people to talk their loved ones about whether or not they want to donate. The film The Last Race is a labour of love by producer Anita Belgiorno. She had to make the heartbreaking decision to give up her brother's organs when he was killed in a car accident. And after finding out Australia's poor statistics in relation to the organ donation, she decided to make a film based on her family's experience. Do you really want to waste that heart? Those lungs? I think that's what Mike would want. And the last race is on tonight at 6.30 on ABC One. For more, Anita Belgiorno joins us now. Anita, thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you. I think the thing that I found quite startling when I watched this film was, you know, some of the statistics that were actually incorporated within the film quite cleverly. And uh, Australia's record is not as great as it could be, is it, in terms of organ donation? No, it's not. And, um, and that would motiv 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 motivate me uh, to do something about it. Um, as you mentioned, I lost a brother 10 years ago and of course there was a process of uh, grieving about it. And But the realisation that in Australia the donation uh, is really low to compare to other Western countries and yet, you know, the success of transplant operations is, is really one of the best in the world. Um, really motivate me to do something. I was involved in another film, The Black Balloon, and um, I thought perhaps making a film coming from my personal experience might encourage Australia to really think about it. Just explain that process to us about how it works. Of course, often on a driver's licence in various Australian states and territories, you're asked when you get your licence whether you want to be an organ donor. Um, yes. Not everyone wants to tick the box. Uh, can you just explain how that process works? Uh, well, it is actually changing in a sense that now with the new uh, organisation uh, which is national, is federal, uh, called Donate Life, uh, they are more and more trying to encourage people to register in the organ register. In few uh, states, it hasn't happened yet, like in uh, New South Wales, we still have to do it in a driver licence, but hopefully this will become like a, a, a national um, um, a scope to have it all in the register. Um, it's look. Uh, even when you take the register, uh, you still have to talk with your family because the family will have the ultimate say, and that's what the film is about. Forty statistically, forty-three percent of Australia now haven't really um, spoken with the family or haven't expressed their wishes, and yet the family will be the one that will give the okay at the end. Can you give us some example of the emotions and 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 what your family talked about at the time? Um, this was in Italy. My brother died in Italy, and my, my family is in Italy. And um, yes, I remember talking through, you know, a dinner conversation years before. Uh, particularly when you start driving, I guess, because he died in a car accident, as it often happens in these cases. And um, he just expressed that he wanted to donate, as we as we all did. And so when when my parents were unfortunately confronted with that, they they knew exactly what his wishes were. And and so there's the idea: if if you know the wishes of your loved one, you hopefully you will respect them. Um, we I also thought that this film could be a powerful tool for uh, educational for schools. We we did an educational kit and some interview that related to the film. Uh, to encourage young Australia to think about it and express and talk and stimulate conversation about organ donation is a beautiful gift. As, as someone with experience in terms of losing your brother and uh, him being someone who did donate organs, what would you say to people out there who are perhaps just thinking about having this conversation and considering that as an option? I would say as a personal experience after 10 years, um, you know, the, the, the sorrow, the pain, that will never disappear. But the thought that, for example, my brother saved five lives, um, it's, it's a wonderful gift. It's, um, it's about the generosity of the human spirit. And um, um, as speaking with other people, it's been amazing the feedback I had for so many other donors and, and receiving. Um, that's what is left. You're actually saving lives. It's an important decision.
Just talk about uh, making this film and, and the people involved in the project. Were they this a, a passionate issue for all of them? Yes, it's been fantastic. It's been uh, there's been uh, I was involved with, I, I asked the producer Tristan Mile to help me and he brought in a great director, Jeremy Canson, and a fantastic scriptwriter uh, with great sensitivity, uh, Peter Schreck, and they all helped me out. We all sat together, we did a lot of research, a lot of people, there was a great goodwill. Uh, we shot a lot in St. Vincent, they came on board, and then I, uh, I, you know, I get more people on board, and it's just a great project, and a lot of people uh, became so positive towards it is fantastic. Well, it certainly is a very compelling film, I felt so, when I watched it. So thank you very much for your time this thank morning, you. Anita. Thanks, Mary. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Thanks.